In this video, we will understand and prove important properties of special type of quadrilaterals. Let's understand first what a quadrilateral is. The word quadrilateral consists of two terms, quad which means four and lateral meaning sides. Thus, it refers to any closed figure with four sides. Let's understand and prove the properties of first special quadrilateral known as square. A square is a polygon in which all four sides are equal and pair of opposite sides are parallel. Each vertex angle of a square is a right angle that is 90 degree. Diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angles. In order to prove diagonals of a square are equal, consider triangle ADC and triangle BAD which includes diagonal AC and diagonal BD respectively. As all sides of a square are equal, therefore side CD equals side AB. Angle ADC equals angle BAD each 90 degree. Side AD equals side AD as AD is the common side to both the triangles. Therefore, by SAS rule, triangle ADC is congruent to triangle BAD. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude diagonal AC equals diagonal BD. Now to prove diagonal AC and diagonal BD bisect each other, consider a intersecting point O resulting in the formation of triangle AOB and triangle COD. As vertically opposite angles are equal, therefore angle AOB equals angle COD. Since opposite sides of a square are parallel, therefore interior alternate angles are equal. Thus angle ABO equals angle CDO. Side AB equals side CD as all sides of square are equal. Therefore by angle angle side rule, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude segment AO equals segment CO and segment BO equals segment DO. To prove diagonal bisect each other at 90 degree, consider triangle AOB and triangle COB as segment AO equals segment CO, side AB equals side CB as sides of square are equal and BO being the common segment to both the triangles. Therefore by side 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 rule, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COB. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude angle AOC equals angle COB. As from figure, sum of angle AOB and angle COB forms a linear pair which is equal to 180 degree. Therefore, using the above result, this equation becomes twice of angle AOB equals 180 degree which is simplified as angle AOB equals 90 degree. Hence, diagonals of a square are equal and bisect each other at right angles. Moving on to the next special case of quadrilateral known as rectangle. Rectangle is a polygon with four sides in which opposite sides are equal and parallel. Each vertex angle of a rectangle is right angle that is 90 degree. Diagonals of rectangle are equal and bisect each other. In order to prove diagonals of rectangle are equal, consider triangle ADC and triangle BAD which include diagonals AC and diagonal BD respectively. As opposite sides of rectangle are equal, therefore side CD equals side AB. Angle ADC equals angle BAD each 90 degree and AD being the common side to both the triangles. Therefore, by SAS rule, triangle ADC is congruent to triangle BAD. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle, we conclude diagonal AC equals diagonal BD. Now to prove diagonal AC and diagonal BD bisect each other, consider O as the intersecting point resulting in the formation of triangle AOB and triangle COD. As vertically opposite angles are equal, therefore angle AOB equals angle COD. Since opposite sides of rectangle are parallel, that is side AB parallel side CD, therefore interior alternate angles are equal. Thus angle ABO equals angle CDO. Side AB equals side CD as opposite sides of rectangle are equal. Therefore by angle angle side rule, triangle AOB is congruent to triangle COD. By corresponding parts of congruent triangle we conclude segment AO equals segment OC and segment BO equals segment OD. Hence diagonals of rectangle are equal and bisect each other. Let's understand third case of special quadrilateral known as parallelogram. Parallelogram is a quadrilateral with pair of opposite sides as equal and parallel. That is, side AB is equal and parallel to side CD and side BC is equal and parallel to side AD. Opposite vertex angles of a parallelogram are equal. That is, angle A equals angle C and angle B equals angle D. Diagonals of a parallelogram are not equal but bisect each other. To check the fact that diagonals of parallelogram are not equal, we need to consider triangle ADC and triangle BAD which includes diagonal AC and diagonal BD respectively. As opposite sides of parallelogram are equal, therefore side CD equals side AB. Also AD is the common side to both the triangles. As from figure, 
वी आर एबल टू प्रूव ओनली टू एलिमेंट्स ऑफ कंसिडर ट्राइंगल्स इक्वल दस कंग्रेंसी कंडीशन आर नॉट मेट एंड देयर फोर इट कैन बी कंक्लूडेड दैट डायग्नल्स आर नॉट इक्वल to prove diagonals of parallelogram bisect each other consider triangle aob and triangle cod as vertically opposite angles are equal therefore angle aob equals angle cod since side ab is parallel to side cd therefore interior alternate angles are equal thus angle abo equals angle cdo side ab equals side cd as opposite sides of parallelogram are equal therefore by angle angle side rule triangle aob is congruent to triangle cod by corresponding parts of congruent triangle we conclude segment ao equals segment co and segment bo equals segment do hence diagonals of parallelogram are not equal but bisect each other moving to the last case of special quadrilateral known as rhombus rhombus is a quadrilateral in which all four sides are equal and pair of opposite sides are parallel the opposite vertex angles of rhombus are equal that is angle a equals angle c and angle b equals angle d diagonals of rhombus are not equal but bisect each other at right angles to check the fact that diagonals of rhombus are not equal we need to consider triangle adc and triangle bad which include diagonal ac and diagonal bd respectively as all sides of rhombus are equal therefore side cd equals side ab Also AD is the common side to both the triangles as from figure we are able to prove only two elements of considered triangles equal thus congruency conditions are not met and hence it can be concluded that diagonals of rhombus are not equal to prove diagonals of rhombus bisect each other consider triangle AOB and triangle COD as vertically opposite angles are equal therefore angle AOB equals angle COD since side AB is parallel to side CD therefore interior alternate angles are equal thus angle ABO equals angle CDO side AB equals side CD as all sides of rhombus are equal therefore by angle angle side rule triangle aob is congruent to triangle cod by corresponding parts of congruent triangle we conclude segment ao equal segment co and segment bo equal segment do to prove diagonals of rhombus bisect each other at 90 degree consider triangle aob and triangle cob as segment ao equal segment co side ab equal side cb as all sides of rhombus are equal and bo being the common segment therefore by side 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 rule triangle aob is congruent to triangle cob by corresponding parts of congruent triangle we conclude angle aob equals angle cob as from figure sum of angle aob and angle cob forms a linear pair which is equal to 180 degree therefore using the above result this equation becomes twice of angle aob equals 180 degree which is simplified as angle aob equals 90 degree hence diagonals of rhombus by each other at right angles so this was it for the video see you in the next one thank you for watching